Hi. Thought I'd talk about one of my patients uh, who's a great success case. He he loved playing football. Uh, still loves playing football. Been suffering from Achilles problems for the last two to three years and basically went onto Google and onto YouTube and found all these exercises that he thought would help. Um, they didn't help. Um, they made it. They made the condition worse. And eventually he stopped going to Boots to get insoles and insoles and stopped going on YouTube to find videos and decided to come to myself. So this was about three months ago. Came to me and he could hardly walk. He was in that much pain. Uh, forget about playing football. He was struggling to go to work at this stage. So we, so we had a look at him. I diagnosed him and he didn't actually have Achilles issues. He had issues with the perineal muscles which run on the outside of the ankle. So the most important thing was to get him on a rehab program and we got him some custom orthotics. Now the rehab program, the way I designed it was that it would challenge him and it would be modified every couple of weeks. So this wasn't a magic cure, it was, it was a sustained period of rehab and we worked on, more mo we worked on various muscles in his body, not just his ankles. So we, we looked at the entire human, his human body and we looked at his kinetic chain. So we looked at his glutes, his hamstrings, his quads, and tried to make him much more stable and much more stronger and flexible. Um, I was very pleased that with the orthotics and with the rehab and the load management that I did and changing the footwear, he can not only go, he can not only walk, walk, uh, at work without any pain, we can also go back to playing football, which for him was the best thing since sliced bread. He loves football, loves Man United, don't really blame him, I love Man United, sorry to all the Liverpool fans, but yeah, he's gone back to playing football, so I suppose the moral of the story is, um, it's twofold. Firstly, don't go onto YouTube and Google and find a rehab program when you're not completely sure what your diagnosis is, very often the diagnosis is incorrect that patients think they have. Secondly, you need a tincture of time and patience. So you, you need to do the rehab that a podiatrist, myself or any other podiatrist will give you. Uh, and you need to, that needs to be modified. It, it, it cannot be the same rehab program that you have from day one to week 10 for example that needs to, it needs to be more and more challenging and it needs to it needs to be able to modify depending on the state of your tissues and ligaments that you're that they are in at, at that present time um, anyway i thought i'd share this story with you and hope you found it interesting